In this video, you will learn how to winterize John Deere sprayers with the Exact Apply system. Before starting any procedures, it's important to recognize safety info, understand safety signals, wear recommended personal protective equipment, and be familiar with your operator's manual. The recommended product for getting sprayers ready is winterizer fluid for sprayers. Please consult your dealer for sizing and pricing. This product is the one we'll be discussing when winterizing your liquid system. Winterizer fluid can be disposed of in regular spraying operations. First, choose your level of protection while consulting our freeze and burst point chart. Your protection is based off size of system and temperature the system needs to be protected against. Your protection will vary based on the size of your system and it is recommended to choose a level of protection that is at least 5 degrees Fahrenheit or 8 degrees Celsius lower than ambient temperature. This is the temperature you expect your equipment to be stored in. This is important because the level of freeze protection determines burst protection. As an example, if using a 30 gallon liquid system and wanting 50% freeze protection, this would be protection against negative 34 degrees Celsius and negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit, I would use 15 gallons of winterizer fluid. I then fill my system with another 15 gallons of water. If I wanted 18% freeze protection, I'd use 5.4 gallons of winterizer fluid. And to fill my system, I'd mix with 24.6 gallons of water. It is not recommended to use RV antifreeze as this can be damaging to O-rings on the nozzle body. Could lead to clogging, may result in burst pipes as part of improper winterization, or be harmful to the environment. Finally, we'll fill and rinse our system. It is recommended to set the system up for both AB mode and position turret on nozzle body with the 1, 2, and 3 in front. When we finally spray, the turrets will have to be manually rotated. This is set up to spray out of both the front and back nozzle at the same time. After choosing our level of protection, we decide to use our optional eductor. We press our eductor button which will also start the solution pump. We'll mix with water to fill our system. We open the smaller valve at the eductor to rinse the eductor bowl and then use the larger valve to suck the hopper empty and put into the solution tank. We activate agitation to fully circulate the mixture. Now you may activate rinse system. When done, unfold boom and spray solution where safe to do so. If equipped with boom air purge, use this feature now. When using a nurse supply, it is important to prevent solution pump damage to make sure the nurse supply tank hose is at its shortest length. Make sure there is a shutoff valve at the end of the hose. Make sure the line is primed and not empty. Make sure the supplies hose is equal or greater in diameter. If solution tank is empty, perform a low volume rinse to prime pump. Make sure the supply tank water level is at or above the center line of the pump when pulling on liquids using onboard sprayer pump. The pump should always be gravity fed by liquids. Never use the pump to vacuum the water into the pump. If using quick fill access valve located next to the low command center on the side of the machine, you'll secure the nurse supply and open the valve manually. If your nurse supply doesn't have its own external pump, press the lower button in the center column to open the bypass valve circuit to pull on solution into the solution tank. After securing the valve, activate agitation, rinse system, and spray where safe to do so. For a nurse supply with its own external pump, simply press the lower right corner button after following every single step previous. If using the optional front fill access, secure the valve and open the nurse line. With the engine still running, flip the three option switch to the top position. This will start the machine's onboard solution pump and open the bypass system. This will pull on solution load from the nurse supply. Push the switch down to the off position shown. When using a nurse supply with its own pump, secure the nurse supply line and open valve first, but now the switch is turned to the middle position. This opens the path for pushing solution into the bottom of the tank. When done using the front fill option, flip the switch into its off position and open the air supply valve for 10 to 15 seconds. This will evacuate the fill hose into the solution tank, activate agitation, rinse system, and spray where safe to do so. In this video, you've learned how to winterize your John Deere sprayer. <laughs>